Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to be building up our card, so this is part 2. If you haven't watched the previous two episodes where I explain how sessions work and uh, the slow build up to this card, to this episode, I suggest you go watch those two episodes, otherwise let's proceed. Let's go into our application layer, into the card folder and let's open up add to cart. So here, let's handle first getting the card, right? So if we want to append the card, we want to know what's in the card, okay? So let's go into open up our get card as well. And let's just grab this right here where we get the cart and deserialize the object. And let's put it at the start here. If there is going to be nothing in the cart, string object is going to be null, right? So we want to we want to run a check. String is null or empty. All right? String object. Okay? And let's put an operator here. So we only want to do this if it's not empty. We want to deserialize only if it's not empty. And let's create a cart list and make a new list of cart products. Uh, import the list. Oh, let's not forget the semicolon. Okay, so we have a cart list and let's populate it. Cart list if string object isn't okay and let's change the type to be a list of card products okay cool okay so now that we have the cart list what we want to do is see if there is a stock in there that we're already adding in case we need to append the quantity right so let's do another if statement and let's do cart list dot any import link and what we want to check here for is stock id that equals request stock id so now what we want to do is take the cart list and find this uh, this stock in our cart right and what we want to do is we want to take the quantity and we want to append it to the quantity in our request like that right and if it's not found there let's uh, take our list and let's add the new cart product Okay, let's remove this and uh, let's put our cart list in here and uh, I guess we can just use the same string object. Remove this comment and we're good. <clears throat> so just a quick, a quick uh, rundown of what we have here. If the cart isn't null, we want to set our cart list to what the cart is currently is. If the cart list uh, has a stock, we want to find this um, stock item and we want we just want to append the quantity. Otherwise, we just want to add the cart product to our cart list. Uh, serialize the cart list and add it to our session. It's very simple. Now let's go to our get cart. So instead of returning a response, we want to return an a numerable. Oh, there we go. Right. So when we deserialize again, we just want to deserialize it to a list card product. All right. So and let's rename this to card list. And now what we want to do is we want to take the card list. And we want to search for any. Put a Y here. Stock ID that equals X ID. Hopefully this makes sense. Any it's going to search the database. Any values in the database that are found in the cart, it's going to return true. So then it's, then we're going to have a record. Finally, let's just do cart list first or default. 
y stock id equals x id and we just want to grab the quantity of that and instead of first of de or default we want to do to list okay looking good let's run this and see if it works yeah i forget we'll have to update the cart in our ui so let's open these two all right and here let's do an ie numable i can put the oh okay and let's rename it to cart list actually let's just keep it as cart because it is a cart that has a list in it okay uh let's go to our view model here <clears throat> and let's do a for each loop uh product in model part and let's just replace um, yeah let's take this whole thing and just do product here okay and just to be clear let's put an hr here okay now let's run this copy this and as before let's open it up in internet explorer oh okay so let's just do this a safeguard here because i got this error if um, string is null or empty string object Let's just return a an empty enumerable of response. Uh, make this a list because we can't return an interface. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's quickly go to cart make sure that doesn't error so it doesn't let's go back let's add a quantity of small two there we go let's go back and let's add a large quantity of three there we go there's our second product and now let's add another small quantity of i don't know 10. there we go and you can see the quantity is updated to 12 here id is still one and basically the card is working as uh, intended. Later on, we'll uh, implement the functionality to add and remove uh, items, but but that's for a later episode. So let's do a final check. Let's close this window and let's open up the card again. And there's our product. Cool. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, quite a short one. If you enjoy the episodes, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, in the episodes to come, we're going to start styling our shop to make it look a little bit more presentable and implement the cart component. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.